Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Good. Today we're making Pupad Pong Curry. Basically, it's uh, curry crab, Thai curry crab. But before we have a look at the ingredients, do me the favor, if you're not a subscriber of the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon, which allows you to get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode drops. But now let's have a look at the ingredients. So we have our crab, which is the main ingredient. This is snow crab, it's been frozen. It's the only way to get crab in Switzerland. If you get frozen crab, make sure you get all the water out of it. It's very important because it's normally very wet, but that's been squeezed and hung to drip. So that's as dry as you get it. Uh, we have eggs, very important. We have some oyster sauce and some soy sauce. We have some Thai shallots, a couple of garlics. We have some red chili, but that's just to decorate. We have some um, fried onions or fried Thai shallots that I did before, but that's easy so I don't have to show you. We have some spring onions and we have some Chinese um, celery, it's called. It tastes like celery, uh, smells like celery, and it almost tastes like celery. Well, it does taste like celery, but it has a bit more bitterness and a, it's a bit more intense, I would say. That's the main difference from this and normal celery. We have some white pepper, some condensed milk, unsweetened condensed milk, very important that it's unsweetened. We have some uh, chili paste, Thai chili paste, and we have some curry. I, I quite like to use this brand. They have a normal, I think they're called oriental curry, and they have this one which is called spicy curry powder. This is a Japanese brand, SMB, and I prefer the spicy one, so we're gonna use that. But before we get to the stove where most of the things will happen, we need to do a little bit of prep. So we'll prep our spring onions, the celery, and our garlic and onions. And then we can actually, or we might prep the egg mixture as well before we move over. But let's start with the vegetables. So we start with our um, Chinese celery. Try to get them the same length. More or less. And this is up to you how you want to cut them. But I kind of like them in sticks, a couple of centimeters long. And now, before we can put them in a bowl here, but before we continue here, I'm gonna put away some of the leaves separately. I'll just cut this up. You can also go in there. And we're gonna just chop those up and uh, we'll use them to sprinkle on top of the dish as well. So get that ready and then we'll continue with the spring onion. And I'll just show you quickly here. We'll just bundle them up like if you would chop any herb and just finely slice them. And then we'll put that over the dish. It has a much stronger flavor than or aroma than uh, normal celery. You can already smell it when you cut it. So we'll put this to the side and then we'll continue with the spring onions. And for our spring onions, the same, kind of similar length. That should be enough for us. And we can put them in the same bowl. Now next up is our shallots. And this again you can do however you want. I kind of like relatively thinly sliced garlic like that. And the same with the shallots. A lot of recipes, if you're looking for recipes of the uh, Thai curry crab, they use normal onions, which is obviously probably the more authentic way of doing it. But I just prefer the taste of the, I call them Thai shallots because I get them in the Thai store, um, but these smaller shallots. So just cut up your garlic and your shallots like that. And when we're done with that, we're gonna make the egg mix. So I'll see you in a minute or so and we'll make the egg mix. So for our egg mix, we'll start with some white pepper. I'll say about teaspoon. 
We're going to need for our six eggs, we're going to need three tablespoons of the chili paste. And it's not so spicy, it's uh, quite, it's a bit on the sweet side. I'll take some extra. So you don't have to worry about it being too spicy. Get our oyster sauce. Do four tablespoons of that. And next, four tablespoons of soy sauce. Let's get this open. three and a half, four tablespoons of curry, curry powder. And before we put in the condensed milk, we can start to mix this up. I'll pour this over in a bigger container so we have more space. That's a nice homogeneous mass. Now let's open the, the unsweetened condensed milk and pour in the whole can. So one can for six eggs. I will just mix that together as well. And that's our egg mix. Let's see if it stays. Now we're gonna move over there and we're gonna cook the dish and then we'll just need to serve it up and we can taste it. So see you at the stove. I don't have a wok, but I have a big frying pan. We put some oil in it. Now we're gonna fry the shallots and the garlic on quite high heat, and then we're gonna turn it down to, I would say, even low, not even medium, low heat, and then we'll finish the dish on low heat. So we're good to go. That's no better smell than the smell of frying onions and garlic. Now we'll go in with our green stuff. Get our crab in. This is already cooked, right? So we don't have to cook it. And now turn down to low heat. And in goes our egg mixture. And now you need patience. It's like making scrambled eggs. I put a link on the screen how to make the best scrambled eggs. It's also a game of patience. The more patient you are, the more creamier they get. Obviously, butter has something to do with it as well. But you don't want to rush this. Basically, what we're making is a spicy version of scrambled eggs with crab. Now we're almost there. The only thing you kind of have to well, decide for yourself is how wet do you want it. I prefer it on the wetter side because we'll, when I eat this with my family later, I'm going to serve it up with some rice. And I think that goes perfect with the rice. But if you prefer it drier, you can have a bit of dry. But uh, we'll finish filming here at the stove and we'll change the position and um, let's serve it up. Now this is always a bit on the heavy side, so we'll actually sw switch to a spoon. And this is not one portion that I'm serving. This is kind of for the, the middle of the table for everyone to take out of. Now this is Thai crab curry, but you know, then there shouldn't be rules in cooking. And Taking my wife as an example, she likes to eat this with like a dollop of yogurt in it. I made a mess. I will clean that up later. So 
you know, just remember that. Just don't have to be militant about anything. Just serve and eat it like you enjoy it. I'll clean this up here quickly. Now we're about to finish this off, but before we do this, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me. So do me that favor. But now let's finish this off. We'll put our chili on top. Don't worry, this is not a very spicy dish, so it, it can take the chili. We'll take our shredded Chinese celery leaves, like that. And for some crunch. And I saved some of the crab, so we'll just put some crab on top as well. Because otherwise people can't tell that there's crab in it. Because it kind of disappeared and took on the color of the curry. There we go. Now let's give it a try. Now I don't want to destroy this, so we're just going to grab some out of it. And then we'll try to make that look good again, like we managed. Get rid of the spoon. This reminds me so much of my childhood. Now, I didn't grow up in Thailand, but I grew up in Belgium. And next to the house where we lived, there was one of the, if not the best Thai restaurants in Belgium. This is so good. And back then, this was early 90s. So you can see how old I am. Um, that was something quite unusual to, to find good Thai food. Perfect. Thai chili crab. Simple, really quick. It's, but it's just comfort food. You know, it's, it, it's midsummer, right? It's, it's really hot, but it's this kind of um, humid summer and there's a lot of thunderstorms. So there was just a thunderstorm. It was pouring down with rain. And I'm so looking forward to eating this now, sitting down with my family, have a nice cold Singa beer, some jasmine rice, and this is going to be fantastic. Now, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the recipe or how I did it, leave them in the comments. I always answer them. Um, and don't forget, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon if you're not yet a subscriber. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.